My name is Brian. I'm a product manager here at Zebra Technologies, and I want to spend the next few minutes talking to you about USB versus USB host. Let's take a look at some Zebra desktop printers. We have the G series printers here. They feature USB. This is USB 1.1, and what the USB port is used for is connecting your printer to a PC or terminal. The ZD 400 and 600 series feature the same type B slot. However, it is the, uh, a newer version 2.0. The one thing the ZD 400 and 600 series offer that the G series doesn't offer is USB host or type A. Now, you wanna know that this type A has been around for a while. And your question is, what is that type A slot used for? For example, if you are doing a label that has variable input on it that you wanna input on the fly, be it uh, your service provider, and you want to put the date of the service, the location of the service, or who performed the service, you can attach a USB keyboard to that. If the person that performed the service has a badge and you want to scan that badge to get that in data inputted, you can do that as well. Another thing you can do with the USB is you can use a USB key. And the USB key that's supported by these printers can't be more than one terabit and it has to have a specific format. But what you can do is you could put your firmware, you could put label templates, you could put logos, and what you could do is you could um, print them from the USB, or you can upload the data that's on the USB to the printer on the E-Drive. Let's talk about formatting your USB key to work in a USB desktop printer. Again, the maximum size of the USB key supported by a Zebra desktop printer is one terabit. So what you want to do to get it formatted is set up a main directory called Zebra and a set of subdirectories below it, APPL, commands, and files. The APPL folder is where you'll put your firmware. So you go on the website, download the latest version of the firmware, and you put it in that folder. And when you insert that USB key in the USB host port, it will compare that version to what's on the printer. If it notices a difference, it will install the new firmware on the printer. When the printer is done, you can check the configuration label that prints out and compare that version in the APPL folder to the version that's now on the printer. In the commands folder, you can take a label in a, either a TXT format or a ZPL format. And once that's inserted in the USB host port, it will print out that label. In the files folder, we have a feature in the printer called Mirror. It will copy those files and upload them to the E drive on the printer. And in the files folder, you can have things like logo files in a bitmap format, or you can have label formats in a TXT format and they can be, as I mentioned, uploaded to the E-Drive on the printer.